chiming in with my daily video. It's May 2nd, Happy May, and I'm coming to you from Scottsdale, Arizona, still in Scottsdale until this Friday. And today I enjoyed a beautiful day driving around Scottsdale doing errands. I bought myself this new uh, Lululemon jacket. I'm not in the phase of accumulating many things right now, but I just am really loving this. And the sales girls were adorable, and they were very interested in the Freedom Tour. So if you happen to be watching this lovely girl in the purple top from Lululemon in Scottsdale, thank you for your fabulous customer service. And uh, today I wanted to talk a little bit about... Um, I got into a sticky business situation over the weekend, and I won't go into details because I don't really think that details actually matter in this type, in this circumstance. Um, and sometimes, to be honest, when you rehash the details too many times, it just brings more energy to it. So sometimes I think it's best to just pull away and become solution-focused when possible. But anyway, so there I was, couldn't really sleep last night, couldn't really sleep the night before, worried, ruminating, um, obsessing, perhaps, <laughs> if you will. And I finally um, talked to a couple people. I talked to my aunt, talked to um, a couple friends of mine, talked to my mom, you know, kind of like my committee. Um, sometimes I am definitely a culprit of bringing in too many cooks in the kitchen to get their opinions, but in this circumstance, these were the right people to talk to. And so... Um, I decided to chat with them and bring up the whole situation. And one of the things that I noticed is that I was getting really focused on either it can be like this or it can be like this. And neither solution felt really good in my body, but I could really, I was a little bit with my blinders on and I couldn't see other possibilities. I just saw this or this. And what was great, I was talking to my friend today and she's a beautiful, quirky, spiritual person and she suggested another possibility that hadn't even come into my realm of consciousness. And I really fancy myself to be a possibilities person, you know, an open-minded and open-hearted person. And yet when I got into fear, everything shut down. And so I couldn't see beyond basically the tip of my nose <laughs> in terms of solutions. And so what she said that was so brilliant is, Kate, I'm totally here with you 100% with this situation and we can easily find a solution that will be a win-win for everybody and we're going to take this experience and make it a situation where it brings us all higher. That was her answer to me and it was so beautiful. It was like she just flipped a switch inside me that went, oh, oh my gosh, there's something to choose other than this crappy solution <laughs> or this other crappy solution neither of which I really wanted to pick. And then from that place, I went into the kitchen and started to chat with my Aunt Penny. And she even took it, I, I told her what, what my friend on the phone had said, and Penny took it even a layer further because I was already in that higher level of thinking where I was seeing more possibilities. Then the conversation with Penny was allowed me to take it even higher to a whole other realm of possibility that um, was, was, was like way beyond, you know, crappy option A or <laughs> crappy option B. And I just felt, free. I felt really free. And the Freedom Tour is also about not only financial freedom, which is huge, um, but also emotional freedom and spiritual freedom. And both of these conversations helped me to see a bigger picture. And I am a big picture thinker, but I'm sure that you can relate to this. When you're operating out of fear, things get shut down. Like like your vision becomes myopic. You can really only see down this tiny little tunnel and you can't see beyond like let alone peripheral vision. There's only here versus 360 degrees and up and down and all of the possibilities. So calling upon a spiritually <laughs> open friend, calling upon a penny to help me see beyond this little icky situation that I was only seeing here allowed me to open my heart and open my mind to a much wider solution than I thought was possible. And so my breakdown of this for you today is one, when you're when you feel scared, 
have a committee of people you can call upon who can quickly, or maybe not so quickly, but at least eventually, help to guide you back into love. Because um, something that is common in a lot of spiritual practices is you can either have fear or you can have love. Um, but the two, you actually can't feel both of those emotions at the same time. And uh, my conversation with my first friend helped me click on the love, the love switch. So suddenly my fear dissipated, and then my conversation with Penny allowed me to take that higher and really open up the full flood of love so that I could actually then spread that around among the other players in the business situation. And we all ended the evening just feeling like, wow, what a fabulous opportunity for us all to grow. And that's what it's all about. So any moment that you're having those fear fears come up, where is the opportunity for love? Where is the opportunity for growth? And who is your committee who you can count on to um, give you a hand out of your pit of myopic fear and hopefully into a broader, you know, the broader horizons of, of what's possible for you and what you can create because what you can create is very much outside the bounds of what you can see when you're freaked out, basically. That's what I have to say to you today, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.